Doma Sports Talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, Lomachenko. Lomachenko looks pretty good, man. Uh, after this fight with Devin Haney, uh, if you were doubting Lomachenko's greatness, you know now, right? Lomachenko looked real good in his fight against Devin Haney, but I won't go as far as to say he won the fight. And I damn sure ain't gonna go as far as to call it a robbery. I've seen too many fights over the years that are robberies. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's get that straight before we get, you know, go any further. Because a robbery, you would have somebody have a 10-8 round. You'd have somebody stumbling around, right? Or and, and you know, some obvious stuff. What this fight was, Devin Haney versus uh, Lomachenko for Undisputed, was a close fight. Uh, the scoring was okay except for the 116, 112. You had two 115, 113s, 116, 112. Um, I did look at a couple of articles and I see the, the you know, the robbery. Because normally I don't like to look at any post-fight anything. I'm just scoring the fight. And when you score in the fight, uh, a lot of times, right, because of expectations, things go wrong. People, you know, some people in your back of your mind, you know, you're expecting Devin Haney to, to beat uh, this this awesome guy in Lomachenko by landslide. You didn't see that fight. But what you saw early was a lot of body shots, a lot of controlling, um, that, that body, you know, the body shots, a lot of left hooks, wasn't more than a jab coming from Devin Haney, a lot of left hooks, landing, a lot of stuff, especially those, those early rounds. And so what happens when those early rounds, you're accumulating points, they count. So when Lomachenko would have some success in a couple of those rounds, say it was a couple of early rounds, Devin Haney was still kind of winning those rounds. You understand? So the rounds that if you scored the fight, go back the rounds with Lomachenko did something good, right? Maybe hit him with a good left or a straight left hand or something, and then watch the whole round. And then you'll be like, oh, well, but he didn't win the round because of that one or two punches. And those are the kind of things that happen, right? And so when you score in the fight, I was like, well, that's about what I had. Lomachenko comes on at the end for sure. He looked real good towards the end, was landing some punches. Um, one round, he had Devin Haney, which you would think was Devin Haney was hurt, but that, that's not what hurt is. Hurt is stumbling around, but he landed some good punches. And Lomachenko did come on on the end of the, uh, of the fight, which we all expected, right? But I don't think that uh, Lomachenko did enough for the belts to change hands, especially undisputed. I think Lomachenko did prove to a lot of people, because you know a lot of people are saying that Lomachenko won the fight and stuff like that. So Lomachenko's reputation is intact here, but I think we should not go as far as to be calling anything a robbery, because we've seen robberies. Uh, and here's another thing I just gotta say, you know, you know, sometimes the guy that you don't want to win, you know, sometimes a person that looks like me can win a, a, a split decision or a close fight without any controversy. You know, is that possible? Can you win a close fight? Let's look at from Devin Haney's point of view. The guy's 24 years old, undisputed, and is fighting a damn good legend, right? Fighting a damn good legend. Well, how did he look against a damn good legend? How did he look? Just him. Can you cut focus on him? He looked pretty damn good himself, didn't he? See what I'm saying? If you just look from his perspective, I think Devin Haney did a damn good job, right? You know, you ain't supposed to go in here and just dominate no damn Lomachenko who's totally fo focused on being undisputed. Lomachenko looked damn good. Was closing the distance, getting in there, landing some shots, but was getting countered and getting <laughs> getting, getting hit in damn self. Because you don't look like that after a fight. That You know, that was those uh, the way Lomachenko looked after a fight, that wasn't no head button, and no shoulders, or no elbows. That was because you was getting pieced up, right? So... At the end of the day, you're going to have controversy. And I think it's worthy of a rematch if uh, your boy Devin Haney stays at 135. Devin Haney, what I did notice is the head movement is not something that he's good, good at. He's going to have to work on that. The head movement. You know, he has good defense, good reflexes, good defense, good pivoting, and, you know, upper body movement. But just the head movement, well... Not getting away out of, out of those straight left hands. And that's the second time. You know, Jojo Diaz was landing some too. So, yeah, the young guy has some, something to work at. But I think that Devin Haney did enough to retain the titles. Did he dominate Lomachenko? Hell no. Did Dom Lomachenko dominate him? 
Hell no. You see what I'm saying? So should, should the titles change hands? Is that a robbery? Because if you're saying it's a robbery, you come in the comment section, we're saying robbery, then we're going to talk about some robberies. Right? Then we'll, we'll start listing off some real robberies. I don't think that's a robbery. I think that Devin Haney should, should have retained the titles, but I think Lomachenko, his stock is where it should be. He's a legend, and he damn looked real good in this fight, but so did Devin Haney. Doma Sports Talk Worldwide, and I'm about here, y'all.